When, when you were coming on the show, we've got like 300 women on the staff here. The most common thing I've said, how does she stay looking so young? How does she stay looking so young? How do you do it? Don't smoke. Yeah. And I see every day as a miracle, and I just have a good life, and I'm happy, you know, and I think I have a, my mom is a good gene pool, but I think a lot of it has to do with all the bad things that have happened to me or difficult things that have happened to me. I always kind of am able to frame it as an opportunity, really, to, and they have been an opportunity. And everything in my life, you talk about Jeff, you know, seeing everything as a sign. Everything in my life has come, that's been really important to me and has been, from all my children to relationships to the job I'm in, have come because all my plans failed. And I just have been open to the, the imagination of what life brings. You know, at one point in the movie, you're kind of like, well, you know, it's kind of over for me. I, it's just, you know, you're kind of checking out in a sense. <laughs> at least that was my take on Definitely. it. Definitely. And it made me want to ask you when we sat down and talked, and God forbid this would happen, but we never know. If, if your life did end today or tomorrow, what big thing would be left undone? You know, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Nothing that stands out. It's nothing that really stands out. I've, I mean, I've started thinking about, you know, trying to figure out how to financially work things so that my kids at least have a place to live that mm -hmm. doesn't cost them huge rent. And I feel good about doing that. But I, I don't know. I think I've made my peace with pretty much everybody. But it's interesting. You say at the end of your life, after all that you've been involved with, it all comes comes back to your kids. Like, well, I'd like to be sure they at least yeah, have a place yeah, to stay. Yeah, yeah. I've always said you're only as happy as your saddest child. <laughs> and so you, you want them to be good, and then you're good, right? Yeah, definitely. 